Hey guys, Daniel here with another video. Today's video is on how to overclock an HD 5770. Um, yeah, so there's nothing wrong with using a uh, ATI's Catalyst Control Center to overclock your video card. It's just that I find MSI's Afterburner software a little bit more stable. Uh, when I was using Catalyst Control Center to overclock, uh, the program would just stop responding in the middle of games or it would just stop responding randomly so I just chose to switch over to MSI Afterburner um, as you can see this particular 5770 is clocked at 850 MHz uh, default clock and 1200 MHz um, memory and so what we're going to do today is I'm gonna show you guys what to install and how to uh, overclock it and how it's safe to overclock it. Uh, first thing you're going to do if you don't already have it is you're going to open up your Internet Explorer and do a Google search on MSI Afterburner. Just click on the first link and it should take you to this web page with a small animation Afterburner software. Just click Go and then go to Download and Discuss and then click this to download the zip file. Now you're going to want to use a program like WinRAR to open and extract and install the program. I already have it, so I'm just going to cancel the download. And another tool that I found useful just to like make sure that it actually worked was GPU-Z. You could also just do a Google search on GPU-Z and just download the latest version. Uh, under graphics card, it'll tell you all your information about your graphics card and it'll tell you the uh, GPU clock and the memory clock. And once you have MSI Afterburner installed, open it up and look at this section where it says graphics card it should say ATI Radeon HD 5700 series and for the driver version just download the latest ones at amd.com uh, at the moment I have 10.6 I think that's the latest one that's out um, yeah and then you should be ready to start overclocking now just leave the cork voltage alone um, and skip over to the core clock in megahertz you should see this little slider tool just click on the actual number and put in nine well this is what I put I put in 960 and then I push enter and that applies it and then for memory clock I put 1445 uh, this is pretty high if you're doing it for the first time but I've run I've run benchmarks and I've tested it out and I've made sure that it doesn't uh, become unstable while playing any games so that's okay. I just left the fan speed at auto because it seems like it does the job fine and never goes over 70 Celsius while playing any games. And it barely hits 80 Celsius when actual like benchmarks are being run. Um, you should be idling at about 50 or 40 Celsius depending on your room temperature. It's pretty hot in my room so usually it sits at 45 to 50. Um, the reason I left core voltage alone was I could overclock my uh, core clock a little bit higher uh, to at uh, maybe a thousand megahertz, but I just you would need to um, modify the core voltage, and doing so would void your warranty. So I just don't think it's worth it. Nine sixty is plenty for for uh, fifty seven seventy. And yeah, just make sure that core clock is at 960. This is what mine is. Memory clock is at 1445 and fan speed is at auto. Click apply and then you can close it or you can just leave it open while playing games and it'll log your temperature. It's a really good program. And uh, yeah, that should be it. After that's done, you're probably going to want to run a few benchmarks like the Heaven benchmark and uh, Furmark for about 30 minutes. Um, those are just like two examples. You could use other programs, just make sure that it runs stable. I've heard cases of where people's video card does not, it, it becomes really unstable. Like your computer will just freeze up or shut down or it'll, you'll see like gray lines across the screen. That's probably because you have a faulty video card and that might mean you need to return it or just not overclock it as high. Um, I have the XFX 5770 Juniper XT edition and these clocks work perfectly fine. Uh, 960 and 1445 work well. I've also tried 9, 925 and 1400 
and for some reason that runs uh, it a little bit higher. I'm not sure why, but the temperatures seem to get higher when it's at that level. Uh, so I found this is pretty comfortable. When you're overclocking yours, you're going to want to like take small steps, like go from 850 to 890 to 910 to 940, and just keep bumping up both the core clock and the memory clock, and just keep running temperatures, and just keep it at whatever you feel comfortable at. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, just remember that you should always just click apply, keep the fan speed at auto. You can uh, set it yourself while playing games. I just think it's too loud, so I just keep it at auto and it seems fine. Uh, run benchmarks and yeah, just make sure it's getting good ventilation and you should be okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys.